Hi guys, and welcome to this week's episode of Miss Planet. We are so glad you could join us. This week, we received a request from a community member by the name of Gina, and Gina writes, my sister is getting married soon and asked me to help her make centerpieces. We are using the 24 inch Bleisner or trumpet bases that the venue can supply for free to save money. That is an excellent deal, Gina. How do we create something similar to attach to the attached image without gluing to the foam base? That is an excellent question. Thanks for all your wonderful videos. They're amazing. Thanks, Gina. All right, Gina. I am so excited that you guys are getting that awesome deal on free bases. So not only this week are we going to show you how to create this beautiful centerpiece for a fraction of the cost because, you know, we love the Dollar Tree. We're also going to show you how to do it without gluing a single thing to the base itself. So excited to get this started. So without further ado, let's go to this week's episode, Tall Burst of Color Centerpiece. Here we go. So the key to not having to glue your foam to your base is to find foam that fits into the opening perfectly. In this case, it's a four by four inch disc, foam disc, and it fits nice and snug right into the rim of our trumpet base. Now, if you can't find a pre-cut piece of foam, get one that's a little bit larger and just trim it down. It'll work the same exact way. So our first step is, is we're going to attach that touch of color with that plum blossom. And you could just leave it straight, but guess what? We can make it a little swirly. And all you're doing is twisting it around, twisting it around just to give it some character. And then you're gonna go ahead and attach it to the bottom of your foam. Now, when you're attaching to the foam, you can always use a little dab of hot glue. Um, notice my foam is recycled. <laughs> Yours will be nice and smooth and new. Mine's recycled, you know how I am. <laughs> All right, that's our first step. Let's keep going. So we've inserted our foam disc about an inch deep, and then we're gonna go ahead and cover it with this one and a half inch burlap ribbon. Now I picked some with a little bit of a trim on it. It's really your preference. You can pick a totally different color if you like. Remember, we give you the plan, you make it your own. So the key to obtaining this haphazard look of this centerpiece, you know, it looks like somebody just went to their garden, pulled all these flowers and put it in this vase and they just let them fall as they may. Well, they did not fall as they may. <laughs> they actually built the centerpiece out to look like um, just a, a wild bunch of wildflowers. So we're gonna do that by layering different kinds of leaves. Now, we're gonna go from eucalyptus leaves all the way to Dollar Tree leaves, leaves that I just saved off of old projects. Remember, keep those Dollar Tree leaves. And you may wanna just purchase Dollar Tree um, flowers just for the leaves because in retrospect, the cost of just purchasing greenery can be way more expensive than just collecting them here and there, of course with blossoms you can use from the Dollar Tree.
Remember when you're attaching your actual blossoms, be sure to vary the length of the stems. Go from very long, say 12 inches, all the way down to maybe four inches. Just vary them. That's what's gonna give your centerpiece a more realistic appearance. Now for our newbie DIYers that maybe don't have a stash of old Dollar Tree stems laying off to the side like, you know, I do, um, you can always use 26 gauge floral wire and they will work the same exact way. You may need to use a little hot glue to attach them, but it works the same exact way. You can then adjust your stems to be whatever length you desire. Just a little quick tip. Well, Gina, here you go. I hope we met your vision for your sister's wedding centerpieces. We love creating them for you. As you can see, when it all comes together, it looks kind of haphazard and like it just grew right from your garden. I love that look. You can accomplish this too. Very easy. Just follow the steps. You got this. If you like this video, please like us. Subscribe so you can be the first to know when our videos are posted every Wednesday. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Our social media communities are so supportive, and we would love for you to become a part of those communities also. In addition, if you have a project that you would like us to help you with, head on over to our website, MissPlanet.com, click on the Project Request tab, and follow the easy steps. While you're there, check out our blog posts, check out our coupon offers, just check us out. The website is amazing. We have so much information that we may not have time on YouTube to share, but we can sure share it on our website, MissPlanet.com. So check it out, tell us what you think about it. In addition to that, you can find the links to our newsletter down below and get those blog posts sent directly to you, as well as coupon offers from our friends at Ebates. We love for you to save money while you're spending money. Don't forget, the cost for the project as well as the supply links are right below this video. Just click on that upside down triangle and all the information is at your fingertips. Well guys, we so enjoy spending this time with you. We thank you for taking the time to spend with us because we know there are so many options. And until next week, always remember, when every penny counts, count on this planet. Take care. See you soon. God bless.